Oh my god, I just turned on the camera. It's about to die. I'm doing a face mask right now and I'm starting to realize it probably wasn't the smartest thing to put this on my face and try to talk. Anyways, hey guys, I wish I could like smile and be like, hey guys, but you know, the face mask, you get it. I was thinking about like having a cute intro at the beginning of my videos. You know how some people have like those, their cute little montage thing of pictures of them and like a song, but I'm gonna be honest, like I hate when people have those at the beginning of their videos. It feels natural for me to just jump into the video and start talking, but I don't know if it feels natural to you guys if I just like start talking. Anyways, I don't know if this just happens to me or what, but every time the weather starts to change, my face breaks out so bad. And I already like struggle with acne problems, so I just wanna know why that happens and if I'm the only one it happens to. But that's really why I have this face mask on because I noticed my face was starting to break out. So I'm like, you know. This is the um, Aztec clay mask. Don't use it if you have sensitive skin. Probably already know that though. I honestly probably shouldn't have put this on my face just because my face is dry right now. But yeah, whatever. It's already breaking out. How, what else could happen, you know? I want to give you guys like a life tip though. A for real life tip. Because I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm towards the lazy side so if i'm giving you this tip it makes a difference because <laughs> there's a lot of things i don't do that i should be doing but journaling when i tell you journaling has really changed my whole mind flow and like i said i'm towards the lazier side so when people used to tell me oh you should journal or you should write things down i'm like mm, writing oh i'm not in school like you know i don't i don't want to write like <laughs> no but i tried it out i want to say i've been journaling for seven months now so i've been journaling for some time like i haven't this is not something new i've been journaling for some time and it's taken over my life i love it letting your thoughts out in a safe space because you know you could talk about your thoughts but not everybody has someone to talk to and not everybody feels comfortable about talking about their feelings and their thoughts so journals it's like a personal thing for you it's kind of like you're talking to yourself writing really does let you let it out you know like you feel like you got it out your system it keeps my thoughts more organized and another thing i'm really excited about is year or two or five years from now finding my old journals and looking in them and seeing what i wrote and seeing the things that i wrote down that i wanted or how i was feeling then compared to how i'm feeling now or the things i was going through now compared to the things that i'm going through in the future you know like i'm gonna be really interested i'm a very nostalgic person so it's it's gonna be really interesting for me to look back at these journals when I get older but I have five journals why I have five journals is because I really like to organize things like I like things to be organized I like to compartmentalize like you know like it would overwhelm me if all my thoughts and everything I'm writing down about everything was in one journal. Like that would be so unorganized to me. So I suggest you get more than one journal and organize it. Like this is a journal I have and this journal, first of all, I love this, how this book looks. Like I love this, every part of it. It even has like this thing you can put on there and lock it. I write things like this down in. So basically list that I don't want to put in my notes in my phone. So like a room makeover, like ideals i'm having i started working out about three weeks ago but i don't do that anymore but i did write down a workout routine i worked out i kept that up for like two weeks and i just stopped doing it i need to get back into it and then i have a actual planner i sound like a nerd planner oh uh, and yeah i just write down anything in here if i'm doing anything and that planner really does help me because i'm the type of person to make appointments and forget all about them and if i plan something in advance i really need to mentally prepare to go out the house and do those things so seeing it on the calendar and being like okay those days or this day i am gonna go do that this green notebook i have i write down like astrology things like um october predictions or november predictions i'm not you know an astrology cuckoo crazy girl but it is fun like i look at astrology as like a hobby 
I don't live by it. It's interesting for me to write down like the predictions and then see if it really happened that month. So that's basically what this journal is. This notebook is for YouTube and I just write down my YouTube goals, where my channel is and my progress or things that I wanna work on with my videos. Now this black one, this black journal has my deepest, darkest secrets in it. Yeah, no, but this black journal is deep. Like um, this is the journal that I write down my feelings in. And before I write anything down in this journal, I always date it. And I just write down my thoughts, whether they're happy, positive, anything. I write down my wants. I write down my goals in this journal and the things I want to accomplish and how I plan to accomplish them. And you know, when I get real sad, I get to write in some sad stuff in the journal when I get real happy I write super positive motivating things in the journal I just want to like share that real quick because I feel like not everybody journals and I'm not saying that I journal every damn day but since I like to do it so much I do journal like every other day but yeah journaling is not something that you have to do every day but writing your thoughts out or getting your thoughts organized it makes a difference and like I said before that coming from me means that it actually makes a difference <laughs> because I can't commit to anything. You guys, I just got pulled over by the freaking police. With my baby Jazzy in the car. Stopped in the middle of the freaking road. Oh, he's coming back. Yeah, he basically uh, just let me off with a warning. That's like my third or fourth time getting pulled over. I didn't know what he was stopping me for. I'm like, why is he stopping me? Because he was on the opposite side of the road, parked, and I didn't even see him. Hey girl and I didn't even see him. So I'm like, when he told me to stop, I thought he was telling me to stop to let the school kids out because it's like four o'clock right now. I'm thinking like, oh, some kids gonna cross the street. No, this man came up to my window talking about, you know you ran the stop sign. I changed my uh, nose ring, by the way, too. But anyways, I'm on the way to take Jazzy to the park. <laughs> I really wanted you guys to see the turtles. They were all over here, but they jumped in the water as soon as I came over here. I had never been to this park before, but I really like it. There's palm trees here. There's ducks and geese and turtles and water. So many trees. I love it here. I would definitely come back here. Don't ask me what the fuck am I thinking. Back of these walls, I'm full of drink. Why you sell a nigga six feet? I ain't begging when I tell a bitch, please. What, 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 fuck on B. You tired, baby? You tired? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the trees! The trees! The trees! The fucking trees! That looks like some Twilight stuff. I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. Get in a box where the owners do. I bust us a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. Working through the worst night. If I get my money right, you know I won't need you. And I tell you. I'm about to make these honey hot wings, but I have to go to the grocery store and get a couple things that I need in order to make the wings. I hate the grocery store. Like, bro, I'm dreading going to this grocery store. Like, I'm not even gonna bring y'all with me because I don't wanna go. It's just way too many people there all the time. People live there. People live at the grocery store. I'm finna run to this grocery store, quick and fast, in and out. I'm really trying to like hype myself up to go to the grocery store. Fuck it, let's go. Sorry if this is a trigger to all my vegans and vegetarians, but I'm gonna be honest, this, this, looking at this makes me wanna throw up. Why is it bleeding? You know what? This is my first time making chicken wings. Big shocker, I know. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing and I don't know if it's normal for there to be that much blood. But we're gonna keep the process going.
aluminum foil in the air fryer, right? It won't catch on fire because I had that concern. Is the aluminum foil going to catch on fire? The wings are still cooking, but the sauce is done. But I, I tasted the sauce and it just, something tastes off about it, you know? No, it's not there. I'm gonna add some brown sugar. Okay, that tastes bad. These hoes look good, boy. You see that stamp? These pretty fucking good. Solid. Solid. These hoes good. That shit ain't busting if you're not licking your fingers. Every day is a struggle for me to get out of the bed. <laughs> it's just so comfortable. I'm gonna get up now. This is how I sleep. I got another Ipsy package. I think I've been doing my Ipsy subscription for almost a year now. And I have to say, I love it. This is what the bag looks like this month. Now, before I open this, I actually don't even remember what I picked out on Ipsy this month. So this is gonna be a little surprise to me too. <laughs> okay, this is the first thing that I picked out. It's a nude eyeliner. Okay, so I got two. I got a black one and a nude one. They look so smooth. Like it looks like it's gonna be smooth when I put it on. Oh, I got these scrunchies, these satin scrunchies. Five comes in here. I got two black and pink ones and then I got this one. It's like a pattern on there. I needed these scrunchies. I totally forgot I got them because I use scrunchies. I use scrunchies to put my hair up before I go to sleep. And the ones that I have, they're like super stretched out. And I got a little one of these Roller Lash mascaras. I used to use this mascara all the time. This is like my favorite mascara when I was in middle school. Oh, and I got a waterproof liquid eyeliner. I like using the velvet tips because it's just easier for my eye shape to apply. And I got a waterproof one just because I wanna see, I've never used a waterproof eyeliner, so I wanna see if it's better than regular eyeliner. What is this? Oh, I got this vitamin C brightening booster. I do use a lot of serums on my face because when I use serums on my face, I can honestly tell a difference in, that's a pretty bottle. That is a pretty bottle. I can honestly tell the difference in my skin when I use serums, so I do like a good serum on my face. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's lotion. I got this lotion, okay. It has six extracts in it. Elderberry, evening primrose, juniper berry, rosemary, lavender, and blueberry. I'm not, I'm not the best reader, guys. It smells good. It smells like essential oils. It looks like that. It honestly kind of looks like Vaseline. And it feels, it feels like Vaseline too. It's moisturizing. I only put a little bit on and it's like super moisturizing. This eyeshadow palette. Don't remember what color I got. Oh, it's so cute and small. Why did I get, why did I get these colors? I don't wear these colors. Maybe I thought I was gonna start wearing them. Maybe I will, I don't know. But this brand of eyeshadow, I like that brand a lot. It's a good brand for eyeshadow. I haven't tried any of their other products, so I can't speak on those. I got another mascara by the same people I got the eyeliner from. I've never tried this brand before. Mm, that's interesting. It looks like that. It says this mascara lifts, curls, and lengthens lashes. 
that's everything I got from Ipsy, but I did get something else. I got these lashes. I'm gonna go get them. So I got these three different lashes from Mimi Wink. This is the info. I got these lashes. I got these lashes because I've never had lashes that are like spaced out and clumped together like this before. And I wanted to try them to see like how they looked on me. And then I got these lashes. They have pink in them. You can barely see it right now, but they have pink on them. They got like a bunch of different other colors too, but I just got pink. And then I got these. They look similar to the first ones I showed you, but they're shorter. Like, see, these are these are longer than these. So I'm excited to, you know, put these lashes on because I stopped wearing lashes for probably like two years yeah probably like two three years i didn't wear lashes because i started wearing lash extensions but then i couldn't do lash extensions anymore because my eyes just started getting super irritated by it out of nowhere so i grew my natural lashes back out and i started wearing just mascara for probably like another year and now i'm kind of shifting back into getting into strips but something that I am going to try soon is a lash lift. I want to try a lash lift. First of all, see if it lasts long enough because I got my eyebrows laminated and that didn't last that long. Like I want to say it lasted a good two weeks and I got them tinted too. The tint didn't last that long either. I don't know if the lash lift is going to do the same thing or if it'll even be that much of a difference when I put on mascara with the lash lift. That's everything I got in the mail this week. I want to show you guys like my work playlist. It's like the music I listen to on my way to work. My car has some type of problem shuffling Spotify because Spotify is what I use. So I have to make a playlist just for songs that I want to play in the car. The playlist I use for when I'm in the car are like only songs that I, like, I'm into at the moment. Whether they're old or new, but songs that I'm really listening to heavy at the moment. And like hype songs. I don't add like R&B songs or like slower songs to this playlist because I'm driving. When I'm driving, I don't like listening to like slow songs. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm not People who walk their dogs at night are different. Like me, on the black in the this is a new song. It's just came out. And I think I like it. I just wanna be in like Elana, yeah. Y'all don't do it every time. Okay, I like this song. Spin out and do a 360 for nothing. Freestyle it while I got cush on my lung. Crap it out, Burberry, that's what I'm on. Packed out the club, that's a court, got me on me. Load up my rifle, I don't go to bed. I don't pay that. I don't I take off my shirt when I'm hot. I'm quick to spit out your bar. You know that you pussy, you feel like I think I have a crush on Gunna. I had to turn the music down because why am I smiling like this to his song? And I be doing this to multiple songs of his. Like, what he be saying is just perfect. Like, up and down, this shit going, this shit going to be crazy. I just left the hospital, I need another level. She get hard on a nigga, I hardly show my feelings. Look up so why the reason on why I got my reasons. Reason why they ain't tell me it was no more you see. God damn, up. Drive. I can't stress that enough, man. My is almost just, he just came into my lane like I wasn't right there. He did not look in his mirrors before he turned. He was going fast, bro. He was in the same lane for a hot second, man. But anyways. Girl, and she crossing the street, not looking, and I almost smashed the rail. 
Thank you.